This is frustrating, dude. I bet you it's something extremely simple and people are just screaming at the screen, You're an idiot! I'm sorry. I don't pay attention. And I don't know how to get there. <laughs> I have no fucking clue how to get up there, man. Um, I guess I'm just going to try to get to like the highest I can get to. And then just taking my sweet ass time and figuring some shit out. Oh yeah, I tried that before and I couldn't do it. Why'd I try it again? Because I'm hard-headed. Fuck out of my face. Ugh. Just end my life, please. Thank you. Went bow-legged. Oh, frustrating, frustrating. Frustrating. Hmm. Another subject I wanted to bring up is like, what was your favorite movies when you guys were little? Um, I really... That are always very supportive. And, uh... My, my parents' rules, which I'm probably gonna do if I ever have kids, when I do have kids, someday, that, uh... My mom and dad would let me watch anything. Uh, I can't remember how old I exactly was when the rule passed by. But they would let me watch whatever I want as long as there was no sex. And there were no titties. And, and wieners, of course. Which, but I don't know. Sometimes dad would let it slide. Because, you know, he'd be like, I don't want him to be gay now. You know, so like. How the fuck do I get up there? I hate this shit so much, man. You have no clue. How much I just want to turn this shit off right now. <laughs> like, this is the kind of stuff that just makes you quit. I have no fucking clue how to get up there, man. And, like, what frustrates me the most is the fact that it's probably something 110% extremely simple. Because when you oversimplify shit, I don't get it. Because I always think there's some sort of catch. That there's another way. There's some sneaky shit that somebody's not telling me. And that's why me and Lego Batman 1 didn't get along. Now, back to... <laughs> What I was talking about is, uh, yeah, like, I remember seeing, like, Nightmare on Elm Street when I was, like, 10 and stuff like that. Um, I think I was only afraid for one night about it, like, not being able to sleep because of it. But I then eventually got over it. Um, and it wasn't really scary to me anymore. Uh, but yeah, look, see, I want to get up there. I have no fucking clue how to get up there. No, oh, huh. Water bad! Um... But, me, I'm still that way, actually, but I was the type of kid where I didn't require a lot of movies. If I had one that I liked, I'd watch it nonstop, every day, five, six times a day. Like, I, that's what I did. I still do that shit today. You know, you ever heard of that movie, Stan Helsing? That movie sucks, but it cracks me up. And I've seen that movie, I used to watch that movie, like, two or three times a day, because it cracked me up. You, you ever heard of, uh... Wieners? It's it's like a really shitty... Well, it's not, it's not shitty. It's kind of funny. Bootleg-ass comedy movie. Who cracks me up, man. I used to watch that shit like back-to-back. -back. <sighs> really, though, I have no fucking clue how to get over there. It is really frustrating me. I don't know how I'm going to get on top of that fucking thing. See, I need to get... Why isn't there a rope? Why isn't there a rope? See, cause like, this brings you right here, and then you, ow, then you see that it... Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to probably cut this out, <laughs> and then when I figured it out, figure it out, I'll come back to it, cause I'm getting a little frustrated not knowing how to fucking get there like I'm just swinging the cane I don't even, I don't even care anymore yeah, kick my ass so we're going to do that right about now okay hey everybody I found out where I was supposed to go I was running around for like 15 minutes and I, I figured it out now to let you guys know a little something 
about me that I used to do a ridiculous amount when I was younger. I don't do it as much today, but it happens every once in a while. Whenever stupid shit like this happens, where a, a path or air fucking great, when a path or area is unclear and it just requires you just to run around for a bit and kind of just figure it out. When I finally do figure it out, I'm like, huh, it was that easy. I turned the shit off and I never played again. That's happened to me so many times. Uh, a clear example of a game like that is Tomb Raider Underworld. <laughs> there was a part where I got stuck and I literally just had to like walk. I was like running around for fucking hours trying to figure out where to go. Had no clue where the hell I was going. No idea what was going on. And then I found out like all I had to do was like walk forward and equip the like Thor's glove or some bullshit and then move these rocks. And then I moved the rocks and I sold that shit. Like just just stuff like that just just pisses me off. <laughs> oh, God. It's like those because the ropes were like so hidden by the tree. Whatever. A cherry bomb 500? That's a lot of kick. Trust me, we'll need it. To get that ruby free from its moorings, you might have to whack it a few times with your cane. I'm on it. Mm, so I get the... I get the fuck this... Bow. 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 Murray, you're on. Slice knocked the ruby loose. And now we need your muscle to get it to the buyers. Muscle on the way. Yeah, let's go rip that ruby off. Boy, ye! So what I was talking about is movies. Uh, When I was little, I used to watch the... <laughs> don't laugh. I used to watch... Well, I used to watch The Wizard of Oz a lot. That's not what that laugh about. Wizard of Oz is great. But I used to watch this... This... <laughs> This Ronald McDonald Halloween special movie? I have no fucking clue where I got it from. Probably McDonald's. Because, <laughs> you know, you common sense. But, I, I've, I don't remember what the movie's about. I'm sure that if I put it on, I'd be like, I remember, the, you know? But I, I just remember it being the, what was the point of that? I remember watching that, like, nonstop, like, two or three times a day, man. The Ronald McDonald... Halloween special. Yes. Ronald fucking McDonald. The burger guy. Uh, yeah, I gotta go up this way. See, I'm, this is funny. I've been running around this area for so long, and I still have no idea, like, where the fuck I'm going 99.9% .9 of the time. Because this, I hate this level with a passion. 110%. I'm sure if this was, like, 10 years ago, I would have not beat this game. I would have quit right there. It would have been over. It would have been done, son. That's probably why I don't remember playing this or beating this. Because probably some bullshit like this happened and I quit. And I just was like, you know what? And I call my brother in and be like, you beat it! And then I just watch him play it. That's probably why I don't remember this one. It's probably, I can say that this is the sly game I play the absolute least. Murray, you can pick up the ruby with your stop move. Despite its size, that rock is really fragile. Bentley will run ahead and inflate cushions that are safe to throw the ruby onto. Use them, or this operation's a bust. Now, head out to our rendezvous near the waterfall. Okay. Really fragile. Okay, okay. Alright, really, really fragile. I'm gonna go blow up! Oh, never mind. Where are you going? Follow you? Okay. I used to watch the Mario Brothers movies a lot. And, uh, Friday. <laughs> yeah. Friday. That Friday. Yeah, I'm definitely talking about that Friday. Um, but the, yeah, the shitty Mario Brothers movie. Um, Peter Pan. Watch that a lot. Oops. Fuck. See, I thought my... Okay, never mind. Well, they had his... They had... Uh, used, uh, whatever. I messed up. My bad. 
It had Murray's face on it. I thought you were supposed to go over to it and press circle. That's usually what you do. That fucking broke the ruby. <laughs> um, I'm trying to remember. I have a really bad memory, guys. Sorry. But. Did I tell you it's like almost 2 in the morning? Totally. I used to watch uh, Three Ninjas. And was it Surf Ninjas? I used to watch that movie a lot. Um, Dumb and Dumber. Oh God, I still I have that on Blu-ray. I still watch that movie like all the fucking time. But um, I used to get all my movies from my grandma. Uh, my my grandma had like had the hookup on cable, and she would get a lot of like free movies, and she would just tape them. I recommend to my superiors that we purchase it, take it to our buyer, and complete the contract. All right then. Um, but. She would tape a lot of stuff on VHS. I remember VHS tapes. Miss VHS tapes. Sort of. A lot of people are like, the fuck is a VHS? <laughs> yeah. Alright, so... What's... What's the plan? Because I see that big motherfucker right there, and I don't... Well, he's not big. Can I put this thing down for a second? I wanna just clobber his ass with this thing. Watch him turn around and see me or some shit. Nope. Come on, Bentley, you gonna leave your boy like that? Damn! <laughs> like I'm stuck in. The... It's just a fuck sandwich. Okay. Come on, goat thing. Nope. Oh, I'm out of here. Go, go, scoot, scoot, skedaddle! Let's let's Knock the shit out of you, punk ass bearded monkeys. <clears throat> nope. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> beep, beep, whoop, whoop, talking all of that shit. <laughs> get back, motherfucker, you don't know me like that. Having a bad day, don't make me take it out on you! Bow! Bow! Okay, how do I get up there? Do I just, just jump? Just go for the gold? Nope. You guys are really annoying, you know that? I'm afraid that if I punch the ruby, I'll be fucked. Punch some asses. Pick that up. Just throw it over there, quick! I must say, the Cooper Gang certainly lives up to its reputation. This is a true Indian treasure. We will honor the bargain and provide a cherry bomb 500 at the time the turtle requested. Dum, 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 dum. Hmm. Partial flooding didn't work, so it's time to go the distance. Blowing up the temple's elephant mouth should turn this grotto into a swimming pool. I'll cover Murray from the chopper's gun turret while he pries the mouth open. Once that's done, Sly will need to walk the Cherry Bomb 500 into the throat. Then get to high ground as fast as you can. Rajan is sure to show up and be extra angry. Jump him, snag his half of the clockwork heart, and we're out of here. Hmm. I didn't like... Oh, fucking... Oh, man. Uh, I don't even think I... I uh, do... What, the heist is next, right? Let me... Let me look. Murray... Yeah. F fuck, fuck, fuck. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're gonna... Yeah, I'm just... Yeah, whatever. Murray, get your ass out of here. Because I want to stop before the heist. 